See trikkirattal kihutaja ei ole noor uljaspäin ekstreemsportlane, vaid keskialine Ameerika mees Michael Spencer. Michael on Eesti parima naisportlase Kelly Sildaru manager. Yeah, and the finish is here. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. I checked the Forbes uh, World's Most Powerful Sports Agent list uh, from uh, 2017 and you weren't there. No. Why? <laughs> Probably a lot of different reasons. I don't uh, represent some of the uh, big NFL players and baseball players in the US as well as uh, I don't know. I don't like being in the spotlight. This is doing an interview like this is always a little bit more uncomfortable. It's supposed to be left for the athletes. But what it takes to be on that list? I think it, it's more for those agents to promote themselves, right? It's a it's a good list to be on if you can be on it. But um, I don't know. I I just like doing my work, and then when I'm not working, then having my own time. Tagasoidlik Spencer on Kelly agent olnud 2014. aastas. Lisaks Kelly Sildarule on Michael Spenceri hoolealusteks ka Sochi olümpia hõbe Gus Kenworthy, neljakordne X-mängude võitja Simone Dumont ja X-mängude kuldmedalist Josie Wells. How many athletes are on your um, client uh, roster? I have about 20 right now. 20, and you're handling all them by yourself? Um, I have someone working with me, yes. So there's two of us that uh, handle it all. How do you become uh, one of your uh, athletes? <laughs> um, be really good at what they do. Um, you know, a lot of it is also, I like trying to get athletes when they're younger. Um, and build a brand with them and, and develop a relationship and a, and a long-term strategy um, rather than just taking someone that's in the middle of their career. In uh, free skiing, as I understand, uh, all the um, uh, prize money and, uh, and the profits are quite solid uh, comparing to, I don't know, cross-country skiing. Um, yeah, no, it's it's good. I mean, I think if you're the best cross-country skier in the world, you make pretty good prize money on the World Cup circuit as well. So, um, you know, you just have, you know, in free skiing, you have a few other big events outside of just normal World Cups like X Games and Dew Tour and uh, the Oslo X Games. So you have some other opportunities to um, earn some bigger prize money than just your normal World Cups. So, yeah, I think that helps. Um, Sponsor visibility seems to be a little bit bigger um, in free ski. There's still, the athletes are, are able to have more individual sponsors. Um, whereas like as a cross country skier, you're, you're kind of bound to what the entire team has you know, done for you. The real money for uh, sports uh, agents are in uh, football, NFL, uh, baseball. So you made uh, quite a shitty decision to uh, become an uh, agent of the winter uh, sports. No, I don't think so. I mean. Your heart was there. Yeah, I mean, I love it, you know, and, you know, it, everyone says that, right? Like, oh, if I'm in football, like I make, but, you know, not all of those guys make 150 million euros a year, you know? You have a few superstars and then it really, you know, then it really drops off and your percentages are less. Um, there's just a lot of different things that are in play, you know? Um, and more agencies uh, who are interested in the football as well. So a lot yeah. of competition uh, inside of that. Exactly. Did you learn somewhere to be an agent or have you I don't know, Googled it or, or watched YouTube with how to be a good sports agent? No, it was kind of a random twist of events for me. Um, I graduated law school. I'm a lawyer by trade. And um, yeah, uh, I, I knew some athletes. Um, from my background of being an athlete myself and uh, they needed some help with contracts and I kind of just randomly decided that that would be this would be a lot more fun being a sports agent than working in a law firm um, and if the sports agent thing didn't work out then I'd go back to a law firm and that was 17 years ago so I haven't gone back I haven't been working in a law firm so that's nice but, but have you Googled it, how to be a good sport agent? I have not. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would be curious to know what comes up.
The business of sport is the same business as any corporation, It's right? So Then the main goal should be uh, to uh, raise the value in the market. Right, so, so like if you're going to law school, um, I always tell the kids that are asked me, and I said, <clears throat> well, one, when you're in law school, you kind of are forced to take certain subjects, but you do have the opportunity to take, you know, to choose some of your others. And I always tell them, take corporate law, take contracts law, take, right, don't take a sports law class because all you're doing is adding sports in the front of law, right? It's a, still a contract, and it's better to know about everything about contracts than just the collective bargaining agreement of the NFL or something. A lot of athletes, um, in particular in the United States, we set up as companies, right? Because um, they really are a company. So instead of that, you know, a check being written out to the, the individual, the check gets written out to their company when they get paid. But the risks are much bigger. You can have like an um, injury and that, that ends the company. Sure, but it also ends, ends the individual too, so it doesn't really matter either way. But you are losing money. Oh, me or personally? Your in, and your investments. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's part of sport though, right? If someone gets hurt, then they get hurt and maybe they don't get paid anymore. I don't know, you know? Um, but that's the risk, right? That's why you do it, right? And that's why I do my business, same reason why Kelly competes. You don't think about the risk. If, that's the whole nature of being an entrepreneur, right? Like you put it out there, you move forward and the risks don't outweigh the reward. You know the risks are there, you know? Kelly knows that when she goes off that jump, yeah, she could crash, but she didn't think about it. She's like, no, I'm going to land it. Kui rääkida Kelly Sildarust, siis just Michael Spencer oli see, kes sai Kellyle rahvusvaelised sponsorid nagu Roxy, Quicksilver ja Red Bull. Aga mis on Michaeli igapäeva tööd Kelliga? You know, a lot of times is managing the contract, so making sure that she has, you know, the branding is, you know, work, you know, on her appropriately, that she's getting the right equipment, um, managing some of the interview process, uh, making sure that she's in the events that she needs to be in, um, and then on top of that, then you're always renegotiating contracts, trying to find new contracts or new sponsors. So it's kind of a mix and depends on you know, you have to kind of like, every day is a little bit different. And then, you know, when you're in the season or going into the season, it's busier than at the end of the season and, and summer. What are those subjects that uh, you have a final word? I don't have final word. The athlete has the final word. So at the end of the day, once we have a pretty good deal in place, I still lay out all of the pros and cons of a particular sponsor and, and discuss. and how it will be benefit someone like Kelly, or you know, even though the money might be okay, the, they might be asking for too much of her time. And that's, that's a balance. Like you, can't, you can only have, um, you know, if you agree to so much, and Kelly's always doing appearances and interviews and poster signings and all these other things, and doesn't train, then she can, you know, then it, so you gotta kind of balance it and make sure she has time to train go to school and so also it's I, for me it's very important to make sure that she has time to just be a kid you know she is a, she is a kid she's she's young and uh, and that goes with a lot of my athletes right I always try to create that balance and even at the older they get give them some personal time I mean everyone needs a little personal time have you turned down any offer that you might now regret considering Kelly with Kelly now we kind no, of know. Yeah, no. But with your other athletes? I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, be, any any time we've, we've turned something down or something, I, it's usually we make the decision and go, we're not going to regret, you know, like, it doesn't matter what happens after this. Like, we're moving forward. This is the right decision right now. You can't go back in time and be like, oh, my gosh, that would have been so good because... It only would have been good had we known what was going to happen, and at the time we didn't. So I think um, on the reverse side, and not with Kelly, but I think there's been a couple of times with athletes where we regret actually doing the deal. Where we did the deal, it seemed great, but then it started to become too much. Let's talk about uh, brand, uh, Kelly Sildaro. Yeah. How do you develop it? What are your strategies, tactics? I can't tell you that. 
we have a long ways to go. Well, for sure. But right? still, something. Give me something. Um, well, I mean, I definitely have a plan and, and believe that Kelly can transcend the sport. Um, you know, free skiing is only so big, but I think, you know, between, but her being the best and then also being such a significant role here in Estonia and, um, you know, start to put those pieces together that the plan is like for her to be not Kelly Sildaru, the free skier, but Kelly, the, the sports model, real model. So that's kind of the plan, right? Um, and so you have, but you can't rush, like that kind of plan, you can't rush. You ha it has to grow organically. And then there's always things that kind of, you know, there's always setbacks. I mean, her knee injury last year, not going to the Olympics, that's a setback, right? The, the Olympics are a pretty major event and it was unfortunate. It doesn't change anything. I mean, she's still, she's already proven that she's back to full strength. I mean, she winning, winning gold in both the half pipe and slope style event at Junior World Championships. Um, you know, so it, it's just, it just kind of takes a few steps back because it sets things behind a little bit more. And the main goal is to make her a real superstar? Yeah, for sure.